Remember this? And this space was home to a storage bin, which holds more fabric. And that's not all. Let's organize and chat a bit. These cake boards have really proven themselves to be worthy. I didn't mean to leave you all hanging. Got a little sidetracked watching Frasier. Does anyone else here watch Frasier? I know there's a reboot out, but I haven't started watching that one yet. I'm just like re-watching the old episodes and seasons and I really kind of forgot how funny it was. Now some of the later seasons and episodes gets a little dull after Daphne gets pregnant in real life but on the show they're trying to hide it but I mean it's still pretty good let me know if you watch Frasier now this fabric here was chosen by one of my daughters for a garment that she wanted can't remember at the time but I'm pretty sure it was a jumpsuit Now this colorful stripe pattern is very silky and every time I look at it, it reminds me of a nice summery dress. I think it's about four yards. Do you have any suggestions for what I should make with this fabric?
Now this fabric was an absolute eye catcher. It's deep, vibrant colors just, ooh, just pulled me in. It's a rib knit with a silky texture and I absolutely love it. Not sure what to make with it, but also scared to cut into it. Now this fabric here is like kind of almost like a waffle knit sweater knit but I have two rolls of this fabric and I purchased it about maybe two years ago with plans of making matching cardigans and sweaters for my husband and I and I believe it's about three to four yards of boat. I almost think it's four yards, not really sure. Now this fabric, now this fabric has my favorite color in it, turquoise. This turquoise black and white is a soft cotton knit fabric. It feels so good. At the moment, I can't think of anything else to make with it besides a skirt, but I don't really wanna make a skirt. I'm not really sure. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Okay, now we're making progress. Now this fabric I bought, it was a Walmart bundle and 
I was inspired to make a Christmas dress with this. This is a sheer fabric with gold dots and I wanted to make a dress or either a top with like a really cute overlay. When I first saw it, I thought about this pattern here, this McCall's pattern. I really, really love it. And I haven't used it yet, but I do plan to. This sweater knit is also a Walmart bundle. I really, really like it because of the big polka dots. Now, back in the day when I was younger, you could not pay me to wear polka dots. But as I have gotten older, like it's one of my favorite things and I really, really, really want to make a sweater with this for this fall and winter season. Now this is an orange and yellow fabric that I believe came in a Fabric Warehouse Direct Mystery Bundle. I haven't sewn with it and I think it's a gauze fabric. What do you say? Now this is some novelty fabric. It's Dallas Cowboys and I really love the dark blue and white pattern on it. I purchased this with plans to make a bag or tote for my husband. Due to the way they've played these last few seasons, he is no longer a mega fan. Not like he was before, but I don't know, he still watches their games. This blue and white fabric with the white swans on it is a visco satin and this tag says Italy so I don't know if that's where it originated from but it is a very silky fabric and I've only worked with silky fabrics one time and that's here recently. It wasn't as bad as I thought. I could give it another try but I don't know. It might be too soon. I love these stripes. They are so, so, so very vibrant. It's a stretch silk sarmus, and this tag says Carolyn Constance, and it also says Italy on it. So I'm assuming that this fabric comes from Italy, maybe. 
At first, I thought maybe Carolyn Constance was the name of the fabric or a fabric line or fabric company, but I did some research and I looked her up and she is actually a New York based designer. She specializes in whimsical yet elegant pieces. I would say look her up. She had some interesting pieces online and I was very impressed. This is a nice white cotton fabric and I keep it in the plastic just to keep it protected. All of this that's left is just like some scraps that really won't go on any cake boards and like some other things. Now that this bin is empty, I think I'm gonna use it for my fabric scraps, which I've been holding in this bin here, which there is some pretty good yardage in this fabric scrap bin. And I think I'm just gonna throw the good yardage to the side and hang on to it, cause yeah, I forgot about this Ankara, that I even had this much of it left. I'm just gonna put my scraps in the big bin here because it will hold a lot more. And honestly, I don't know why I'm holding on to these scraps because I can't really do anything but use them for filler. Oh, and this is some nice butterfly fabric. It has like a very waxy feel to it and some glitter. Don't know what I'm gonna use the rest of that for. But back to these scraps. Don't know what I'm gonna do with them because they really can't be used to make anything with. And if you see here, I was using this Amazon box to hold some scraps as well. And there's also some good yardage in there. I think I'm gonna get rid of the Amazon box and just put all of the scraps into here. And this is a dress that turned out too big for me, although I liked the finished look, but it was too big. So I'm gonna find someone to give this to that would really appreciate it. Let me know what you all do with your scraps that are, you know, not really fit for making any garments with. And this was one of my first self-drafted dresses in the Sewed Academy. It actually came out really nice, but I needed my shoulders to come down a little bit and I was just starting out and instead of me adding the extra room that I needed and dividing that measurement by four when adding it, I just added like that whole number to the pattern piece. Then the shoulders were falling off of me. These are extra like swimsuit shorts and shirts for like when I have my nieces and nephews over. Sometimes they just stay on the whim and they need things to sleep in or things to play in and I just keep this for them so this bin still came in handy. Now back to this fabric. I really like this and I think it would be good for a child's garment but there is glitter on it and this glitter does get everywhere. So I wouldn't make anything for a small child because as grown people, like when we get glitter everywhere, it annoys us and don't get it in your eye. And I'd really hate for like a baby or something, you know, to get glitter in their eye. And who knows, our babies were probably crying when we couldn't figure out why because we had glitter and everything on them and they had it in their eye. I don't know. I just kind of stay away from glitter and babies. It just kind of irks me when I see babies with glitter on. That's just me. I didn't realize I had enough good yardage of this fabric left either. This was one of the first pieces of fabric that I ordered from Girl Charlie and I absolutely love this fabric. I made it, I think it was last year when a V did the So Rump Jump Play jumpsuit challenge. I made, I actually made two jumpsuits, but this is one of the fabrics that I used to make one of the jumpsuits and I absolutely loved it.
So that's the last piece of fabric that I needed to get onto the cake boards. Let's see if I made enough room to give me a little extra space. So I finally finished and this is what it looks like. I've reorganized this area. This stack of fabrics is scraps that are not enough for a full garment, but maybe something small and crafty. I set this to the side to air out because it still has a very waxy smell to it. If you know, you know. This is all the fabrics from Kiki Textiles. There's not enough room below for all the fabric I just finished wrapping. So I added a few pieces to the top of the stacks I already have on the shelf. Couldn't add too much or it would start to topple over. So I put the remaining fabrics on top of these drawers here. Here are the leftover cake boards. There's 13 left. Started with 59, so I wrapped 46 pieces of fabric. In total, I ordered 200 cake boards, so that means I have 187 cuts of fabric in this closet, all ranging from one to six yards. I just can't sew fast enough. And there's the spider. <laughs> 